Hello everybody, this is Mike Blast here I'm again on Planet Zoo and today we'll be starting our new project which is going to be a brand new zoo. I'm not talking about a franchise or a particular sandbox type thing, I'm talking about a real zoo. I'm talking about a zoo that exists in the world that I am going to recreate in Planet Zoo. You may have already seen my Chester Zoo series and I hope you've enjoyed that. It's got to a point now where I can't really progress too much without the help from the zoo and unfortunately I've contacted the zoo a few times and they have never responded to me which is a real shame but uh, I haven't given up on it we're gonna persevere and hopefully we'll get somewhere with it in the meantime I'm gonna be starting uh, oh, I've not given up on Chester Zoo it will I will be doing bits there are bits I can still do um, like Oakfield House, for example. So it, it will happen. It, it, I can do things like that. You will get updates every now and then. But I wanted a new zoo that I could be doing every week, something that I can be giving you a video every single Monday. And I also wanted to take this first video to show you how to do a real-life zoo, the sort of things you will need if you want to recreate a real-life zoo in Planet Zoo. There are limitations. Not all the animals in your real zoo will be in Planet Zoo. The pathways will be too wide in Planet Zoo f compared to what they are in your real zoo. And that will give you issues with space and size and, and other limitations like that. Right, what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you the tools that I use and how I decide how to work on which zoo. This is important. It's no good just saying, right, my local zoo is this one. I'll do that. It doesn't work like that. It's very, very difficult to do that. I'll show you why. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is my lovely spreadsheet here. And it's um, very, very basic. And it, it's got some zoos in that were requested by people who watch the videos. So um, people that have been on my videos and, and left comments in the chat or in um, a place called Zoo Chat and also on my uh, Facebook channel. People have said, can you do this zoo? Can you do that zoo? Well, the answer is no. <laughs> I can't. No, I really can't. I'd love to. Um, for example, Colchester was very popular. Lots of people wanted to do that. Problem with Colchester is there is no street view. Now, this is important. I'll come back to it in one second. I wrote down the list of all the zoos that people had requested. Um, and I looked at how wide the zoo was and how long the zoo was in real life. This is important because if I wanted to re recreate, for example, Longleat Safari Park in the UK, it's too big for Planet Zoo. It will not fit on a map in Planet Zoo. You would have to halve all the buildings in order to get it on. It, it's really way too big. So that knocks out places like Longleat, Singapore Zoo, Howlett Zoo, Columbus, San Diego, unfortunately, Detroit Zoo, all them gone. Can't do them. The other thing is Street View. I said I'd come back to this. So um, what we're going to do is I'll show you my Chester Zoo um, map. So uh, Street View is very, very, very important for building a zoo. If I look down at, at this... I can see buildings and I can see how big they are. Uh, street uh, Google's, Google Google um, Maps has this. If you right click on it, you can click on measure distance and then click somewhere else and it will tell you the size of that line. 56.23 meters. It says it down here a bit clearer or um, if you want it in feet, it's there as well. But that means that I can recreate this building quite accurately from the top size wise. But what it doesn't do is show me what the building actually looks like if you're visiting the zoo. So in order to do that, you need street view. You need to be able to come down to street level and have a look at the various buildings and see what they're made of. Are they made of concrete? Are they made of stone? There's some logs here. Did you know there were logs there? I didn't know that until I looked on Street View and I built my Chester Zoo. And in my Chester Zoo, there are logs there. There's also some uh, some bits that look like a tree there. And uh, this is all made of stone. And it's this sort of information uh, of, of how the various pathways look, how the fences look, what kind of fences there between me and this um, Okapi over here. 
well it's a wooden one then there's a gap and then there's a metal fence so it, it's that sort of information that that you really can't get if you uh, if you've just got this so if a zoo hasn't got street view it makes it very difficult this is why i ran into problems with chester zoo because i got to the new part of the zoo I've built some of it and there will be more coming, I promise you. However, if I look at the street view for it, it's non-existent. There is no street view. There are a couple of points uh, where people have taken photographs and things like that, but I don't have a street view. I can't get down on street level and tell you what this building looks like. It just, that's the best view I've got. Um, as I said, I've reached out to Chester Zoo for some help. Uh, we'll wait and see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Anyway, um, what else? Um, so that's knocked out quite a few of them, really. Uh, there's, a, there's not much street view on these. And I narrowed it down to three. London Zoo, Copenhagen and Burgers. Um, actually, Bristol was in there for a long while as well. But um, Bristol and uh, Dudley um, there, two UK zoos that have been requested, the enclosure was too small. Planet Zoo has restrictions on the size of enclosure. And I know that, uh, for example, Bristol Zoo is actually moving. Uh, it's going away from being in the middle of Bristol to another location. They're going to close the Bristol one down. They are leaving something there as a kind of, I think it's going to be more like a... Um, kind of ecology type thing uh, where you can go and learn about the ecology and, and things like that but it won't be the zoo anymore that is moving um, so I didn't really want to build that if the zoo's going to go um, and some of the old enclosures were really quite small and the same with Dully um, if I if I build something for let's say an Okapi we've just seen one of those um, in the game the size of enclosure has to be a certain size in reality the zoos aren't matched to the game you know uh, the game and reality don't always see eye to eye so it left me with three london zoo copenhagen and burgers and out of those three the one that looked the most interesting is burgers zoo so that's the one that we're going to be making so it's burgers zoo from the netherlands and let's go and have a look at the tools that you use if you're going to be creating a zoo right so, as I mentioned, Google Maps. Um, what I also mentioned was Street View. If we have a quick look at that. Look at all the information I'm going to get. It's going to be beautiful. There are a few gaps there, but I can I can manage. I can manage. We can get a good start on this. So there's lots and lots of that. There's lots and lots of information on the buildings. I can uh, go down to sort of street level and see what some of these places look like. So let's have a quick look. I've not been down here before, so yeah, I can see what the building looks like. Wow, that looks difficult. Uh, can I change my mind? <laughs> but I can see, look, there's lovely rock work that's, that encroaches on the path and, and there's some logs and things. I can see all that. That's superb. You don't get that from here. You just can't see it. Brilliant. Right, so I found a good zoo with good street view. That's excellent. What you also need is lots of people who go to the zoo. Now, I know that people go to the zoo and you take your camera and you go and take a photograph of some lovely giraffe and zebra. And that's fantastic if you like animals. And I like animals, don't get me wrong, I love animals. I wouldn't be building zoos if I didn't. Uh, but what I don't want is pictures of animals. I know what a zebra looks like, pretty much. Um, what I don't know it, what what things look like is what do the pathways look like? What do the fences next to the pathways look like? What do the bins look like? And this is perfect for me. There's a young lady here um, who is wandering around the zoo and is actually showing me uh, the building. I've got buildings, I've got roofs, I've got all sorts of information there. That is superb. I don't want pictures of lions. I want pictures of enclosures, please. So um, it's important that people have made videos of the zoo. And there's a cracking one here. I haven't looked at the video, but it looks like it says behind the scenes at Burger Zoo. This will give me information on how my keepers are going to get into my enclosures. Um, where are the restrooms for the keepers? Um, you know, how, how are they going to get in to feed the animals? That is what I need to know. That is great information. Uh, I look forward to watching that video. That would be fantastic. And also things like this showing the buildings and i'm not bothered about the animals the the game will provide the animals i need to provide the buildings and the enclosures so i need pictures of buildings and enclosures so 
videos very important same with um, just general images so I can type in burgers mangrove or burgers dessert or just burgers that dessert desert um, or, or just burger zoo and get images of the zoo that people have taken and again from this people may have taken pictures of the animals which is great lovely beautiful um, I want pictures of the enclosures what does the roof look like what's the how does how's the water shaped where does the pathway go that sort of thing so this is very useful um, I've got three more to share with you um, Wikipedia is quite useful sometimes <laughs> Um, uh, if I typed in Burgers Zoo, for example, I can get this page which shows me the buildings. Um, so, for example, the mangrove building, I can see, I can see how it looks, and I've got some more information. And again, if I look at the the, the dessert, apparently, um, I can see what the roof's like, uh, what it looks like inside. And get a good idea of what the rock work looks like it looks like there's a keeper's uh, entrance there as well this is the sort of info i need uh, wikipedia not the best help but sometimes it is zulex can be fantastic it can also be absolutely average um zulex is a company that make enclosures for zoos and aquariums and sometimes if you go on and you type in burger zoo you will get a page and it will tell you all about an enclosure they've built for that zoo i've got one here um, it shows me the layout so i know where the paths are going and i get a rough idea of where the enclosures are and what you can do then is if you look further down the page it will tell you about the the place that they built but it will also show you photographs so I've got pictures of the entrances, again inside, how it's laid out a little bit, um, some of the walkways, uh, what the bridges look like. So things like that are, are invaluable uh, for when you're making a bridge or a place where people stand and look at something. What does it look like? What is it, what is it actually made of? Zulex can help with that sometimes. Um, it's not bad. Um, the last place and a really good place actually for getting information is ZooChat. Um, this is a place where people go to the zoos, take photographs, and again, you'll get that mixture of people taking photographs of the animals. Fantastic. Also, what you'll get is pictures taking, people taking photographs of an enclosure. And this is what I want. I want to know what that enclosure looks like. I want to know what the roof looks like. What does the rock work look like? Look, mangrove trees. I now know where to put my mangrove trees. Um, so this is uh, quite helpful as well. So if you want to make a real zoo, zoo chat zoolex wikipedia general photos from the internet videos from the internet very useful and um google maps those are the usual places there are a few other specialist places that i look um if you are interested in making your own zoo leave a comment in the uh, in the comments or get in touch with me on my facebook page my backblast facebook page will Ask me the question, I'll tell you some of the other bits where I get some information from. Some of it's quite specialised. Um, but, right, what do we do next? Well, the thing is, I know roughly now what the building looks like. And I can find out how big the building is. If I right-click on it, measure distance, I can find that this building is 89 metres that way and 150 metres that way. But where is it in my zoo? How do I work that out? Well what i do for that is i take a screenshot of that and i then put lines on it i have a software program called um, gimp which is a graphic manipulation software much like um, paint or um, whatever other graphic software people might use um, but the one i use is very very detailed and it allows me to put grid lines on uh, and i'll just show you what I've done with that so I now have a lovely picture of the zoo from the top with grid lines on and what I've done is I've put these grid lines on so that they're 100 meters apart so I know now that if I took this point here as point zero that the entrance is 100 meters here 200 meters 300 meters so if I'm trying to locate where this building is I know that it that it's 100 200 300 so it's in between that i know roughly how far up it goes so it goes up against the 400 meter line there i can put that building in my zoo 
pretty much accurately if I've got grid lines in Planet Zoo. What I've done is I've put grid lines in Planet Zoo. <laughs> so <laughs> what you've got here is these are just walls. So if you if you look at these um, and you might think it took me a while. It didn't actually take that long. It, it, once you've once you've made one of these, you can copy and paste. It's dead easy. It's dead quick. So what I've got here is a wall and it's just a wall of four meter blocks nice and easy if you put five of these down one two three four five that is 20 meters easy peasy so i put a line to know that that's 20 meters uh, i can then do another 20 meters and another one and another one until eventually you get to 100 meters i put two lines in so i know that each of these squares is 100 meters by 100 meters square if we call this point zero that place in the car park down here uh, that's point zero right there I know that if I go in a couple of hundred to 300, that's roughly where it's going to go. So I can I can then look on this and I've got little numbers next to my lines and I know roughly where the building's going to go. It's going to go roughly here. So roughly there, roughly there. There we are. So I've marked it out. We know that it fits in because we uh, this is actually a thousand meters wide by a thousand meters long. The, the map um, and it goes up to these yellow trees here so you can see where the actual map finishes same at the top that's where the map goes to and this is where I'm going to be building the zoo um, and it's all marked out so there we go I've got my zoo planned here all I need to do now is start putting buildings in some pathways and start building it that's going to be the next video um, I hope it's given you a bit of an idea of how to start. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to put our first buildings down and where to locate them and how to fit them in. And from there, we'll start building this zoo, Burger Zoo. It's going to be the next thing on the channel. It's going to be a hopefully weekly thing. And hopefully um, it shouldn't take as long as Chester did, simply because it's a much smaller zoo. And I, I have got quite a lot of information. There are no gaps in the... Uh, in the actual walkways for example i appear to have everything so um yeah there we go uh, i won't be building this road <laughs> i don't know i must have clicked on something but there you go there you go that's that burger zoo is coming to planet zoo it's going to be built in here um i hope you join me for that and uh, let me know if there's anything else you want to do i i will as i said i will build burger zoo i may also build these two i'm quite excited about london zoo um copenhagen will probably be the third one if i do decide to do them but burger zoo is going to be the first if you've got any comments or questions please leave them down below the video if you want to get in touch and ask me about building a, a realistic zoo or a real life zoo um, which is what i tend to specialize in anyway real life zoos or things that look more realistic um get in touch my name is backblast I'll catch you next time.